Australian Network on Disabilities Leader to Leader Conversation, hosted by CEO Corrine Strauss, featuring employee resource group representatives Emma Henningsen and Michelle Nealon. Mm. It's a really great opportunity to talk about the establishment of our DEN and, and the purpose of it. Michelle, what, what was the catalyst for this to happen? Uh, look, Corinne, a couple of the staff members who have a disability, we were in a conversation and we were just talking about um, our ability to uh, raise some issues with the leadership in the organisation and so we started to have some informal conversations around um, whether or not we should have a formal group that would get together and continue those conversations over a longer period of time so that we had a vehicle where we could put forward uh, some ideas about uh, the priorities that as staff with disability we'd like to see progressed within the organisation. And Emma, what was your um, insight to this um, establishment? Thanks, Doreen. Um, I think for, for me, it was very much about having a voice for people with disability within the organisation. Uh, as the Australian Network on Disability, uh, we're an organisation that supports other businesses to really build their disability confidence. Uh, and we have a, a vision, a goal of being good from the inside out. And so for me, it was about making sure that people with disability were included in that conversation, uh, nothing about us without us, uh, and that we get to, as we grow, which our, our organisation is, um, that we're building in accessibility and consideration of inclusion of people with disability on the, the ground floor. We're putting a really good foundation in. And Corinne, it might be important to sort of recognise as well that Emma and I are now both members of that gen, um, but we have a visible and a not visible disability. And so we have a shared experience, but we also have a different experience of what it means to live with disability. Yes, and one of the things that I think most of Australians don't realise is that 80% of the disabilities are hidden disabilities and um, and all the more reason why we need the establishment of a DEN, Disability Employee Network, because it gives those with hidden disabilities particularly a voice and a place to share their experiences and to get support where if they are not confident in sharing their disabilities and the adjustments that they may need. So a fantastic, um, it's an a fantastic initiative also to drive cultural change and really impact um, those without disabilities to think more mindfully and to be um, much more inclusive around their practices, their communication, their language. Yeah, there's so much that a person with disability and can do by themselves, but when you put a group of us of uh, people with disability, their carers, allies of people with disability into a space to really progress and drive inclusion within an organisation, uh, the impact, it, it, it could potentially be really big. Uh, yeah. I think there's so much that we can do to, um, you know, we are an inclusive organisation, um, but there's always so much more that we can do to, to continue developing, continue to grow and, and continue to progress in this space. And totally agree with you, Emma. Um, one of the things I've learned from our members is the massive impact the Disability Employee Network has on gaining momentum. You know, very often, um, you know, people get really excited about the fact that they have a disability action plan and then they run a little bit out of steam. And when you've got a Disability Employee Network, you don't run out of steam. There is an active cohort of people who, um, who matter and who will keep bringing the subject to life. And that is why a disability employee network is so important. Absolutely. Well, it's so true, isn't it? Because those are the people who live that experience every single day. And so they bring that experience with them into the workplace and into the broader community as they move about. 
So another good thing about having a disability employee network is the fact that it's also a safe space for people who are without disability to go and ask, what do I do if, how do I, if the situation arises, that you can ask and learn and become better at your inclusive practices as a human being. Yeah, which is what we all want to do, right? We yeah. just want to be the best version of ourselves that we can be, and we want to be the best version of A and D that we can be as well. And so yeah. the DEN, our DEN, while, while a little bit new perhaps, uh, has the potential to, to really support A and D to continue growing and progressing in this space and continue and to support our uh, team members to feel really confident and comfortable. And to help people like me become better leaders. Absolutely. <laughs> Happy to do it. I'm very excited. Australian Network on Disability.